Tonight's fights are proudly sponsored by ThrowdownFantasy.com, Draft Style Fantasy Boxing, Oso Makina, Big Z Beverages, Dave and Busters, CrossFit Clearview, Me to Thrive.us, and KTFO. MMA fans, head down to Big Z Beverages in Huntington, and you can win VIP tickets to one of our upcoming events. Go to MMAPlatinumGloves.com slash Big Z for more info. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. Nathan Harmon, one and one. John Perez, one and one. Both Ladies relatively the same age. ThrowdownFantasy.com presents MMA Platinum Gloves 10. Play draft style fantasy boxing for real cash at ThrowdownFantasy.com. Tonight's fights are sanctioned by the USMTA. Sanctioned rep in attendance is Tom Kilkenny. This catchweight fight is brought to you by Orso Machina, CrossFit Clearview, Big Z Beverages, Made to Thrive, and KTFO. And now, set for three three-minute rounds, introducing the blue corner. Standing five feet nine inches, weighing in at 158 pounds. He brings an amateur record of one win, no losses. Representing Black Belt Academy, John. Perez! Across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, standing five feet nine inches, weighing at 160 pounds. He brings an amateur record of one win, one loss. Representing Extreme Fitness, Lathan Harmon! Referee in charge of the action is Alexis Phoenix. All right, first bout of the night, catchweights, Lathan Harmon, John Perez. Third man in the cage, referee Alexis Phoenix. Underway. Now what I remember from Lathan Harmon in his last fight, very aggressive style. I'm expecting him to come out of the gates hot. He is a very athletic young fighter. He is poised though. He doesn't just attack and swing wildly. He has some skill and he utilizes it, picks his shots. But once he gets on a little bit of a roll, he doesn't stop going. Both guys putting each other out early on. Oh, uh, shooting for that single leg. Good takedown, good defense there from Harmon. Yeah, John Perez really didn't get his left arm out. He needed to get his left arm a little bit lower and clasp his hands in order to finish that single leg. Well, that was a nice knee. It looked like it hurt him a little bit. Ooh, very nice head arm throw by yeah. Perez. Harmon landed very hard on his head there. Still moving though, it's always good. With an armbar attempt now, maybe going into a looking for a triangle. Perez is doing a pretty good job of keeping himself square and not allowing Harmon to really lock that triangle in. Although it looks like it's is getting a little bit closer. Minute 25 remaining, round number one, first fight of the night here at the St. James Sports Arena. Catchweight, 160 pounders. Lathan Harmon taking his one-on-one -on -one record into the cage against John Perez. Harmon really has to shift his hips to the other side. Oh, look, it looks like it's locked in now. This might be it. This is doing a, a pretty good job. It looks like it's pretty tight. Could be here, could be done here. One there minute remaining, and that's it, it's all over. Lathan Harmon is your winner, moves on to two and one. That was a real nice triangle choke. When you're triangle in that position. Choke. Go ahead. When you're in that position that Perez was in, you really can't be lackadaisical and stay there for any amount of time. The longer you're in that position, the more likely you are to get caught in that triangle choke. Especially as Harmon was making little adjustments as the time went on, getting closer and closer to locking that in until he was able to cinch that choke and pull the head down and end it. Good nice stoppage there from Alexis Phoenix, referee. And with that, we're gonna throw it up to the cage. Jeff Warsaw for the official decision.
Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Alexis Phoenix calls a stop to this contest at one minute, 58 seconds of the first round, declaring our winner by triangle choke, Lathan Harmon. Harmon actually got outlanded by Perez five to three, but he was able to capitalize on the ground, reversing Perez's takedown and eventually submitting him for the win.